You ought to put your legs out. <laughs> It was definitely a lovely morning and uh, yeah, oh, first coffee of the day. The song is beautiful. I hope I see the robin today. So jobs, jobs, jobs. I've bought some eggshells. Yay. Great tips. Um, I have been a long time so I don't really don't think I've ever tried it I knew of it but I don't think I've ever tried it so it'll be interesting to see if it works I haven't got that many because I've made um I made a lemon pie <laughs> for uh today's vlog well the way that it will work with vlogs and stuff I don't know what day this is going to go you know the, the lemon pie one anyway the lemon pie one I had, I had some eggs from that <laughs> and uh I've I washed them and crushed them so I'm gonna, we're going to go check the runner beans and see whichever one's getting munched the most. Because one was being, they were being attacked yesterday. I will, uh, I'll, uh, I'll sort of scatter. I might have enough for two plants, you know. But every time I use eggs, I'm going to save them for sure. Um, yeah, I weeded this bed here. Let's have a look. I do need to do things before I cover it with cardboard. Is essentially get move the rhubarb and move the spring onions well not move them eat them um, so I won't be doing that anytime soon I need to stream but it's too early to stream too noisy for the neighbors but I will come back in an afternoon after work and stream mm, maybe today don't know that yet I'm gonna charge the battery actually for the streamer yeah. so yeah eggshells a little bit of weeding. The cu cucumbers are now an inch. Know about that? They're looking happy though, because I put, they stay outside during the day and they come in because otherwise the snails will eat them. I'll do a bit of watering. It's not going to be a, not going to be, a, um, yeah. And then sit down and finish the coffee and maybe go through some comments. That would be good. So let's get started. <laughs> So this needs an improvement. I think like a, the blue pipe I will get, but Ro Rosie uh, spotted the ball. <laughs> and if you've watched that one, you'll see she was trying to grab it. And it's, um, it's gone a bit funny ever since. And um, like someone, I can't remember who said it, but they said if you're, if they're touching, then the, this mesh, the uh, cabbage fly will still lay its eggs on there. So that's a good, very good point. So I think the piping, the blue piping or the like, will be a really good idea. So, yeah. But for the moment, it's probably okay. And I do need to do this whole plastic thing. If I do that, that might help. I don't want birds getting stuck under there. Uh, cauliflower isn't touching. But this is just a temporary thing. I'm going to get the blue pipe definitely to go over to create more of a... Because as these grow, they're going to start touching this um, insect mesh. Well, the sweet corn is still here. Great, getting a little bit bigger each day. These are the ones that have been munched. Uh, so I'm definitely going to um, put the eggshells around them now. All right, let's do that now. Interesting, I think they're getting on, you know, like they're climbing on from there. Might only have enough for one actually. We'll do one and then be a good excuse to have, I don't know, uh, scrambled eggs for 
breakfast or something like that. <laughs> I've got I've got lots of eggs, so yeah, we'll just try one. It's a bit cardboard. Well worth trying, that's for sure. Great suggestion, right? Let's have a look. I don't know if there'll be any in there. Empty, empty, I just used the sunlight. Oh. I'm trying. I mean, it hasn't rained since I put them in. <sighs> Maybe the beer's not strong enough. Maybe other beers are better. Slugs prefer different beers, I don't know. What do you reckon? Am I using the wrong beer? <laughs> Try to get more beers to experiment. I don't like drinking beer, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, I prefer wine, although red wine, yeah, I don't like the way it makes you feel the next day. <laughs> That's the only thing. Right, I'm going to carry on watering. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put you back on your tripod. Ooh. I'm going to have to tie these to their canes soon, I think. Well, definitely in a week, I reckon. Right, let's water that lettuce and the leaf beet. I'm going to be going shopping for seedlings. What's that one? And seeds. My mons too failed at home. I have I have re-sown. But I do like Mons too, so I'm good. But we'll we all come with me, so that'll be fun. I need lettuce, more lettuce seeds. I need lots of seeds. Beetroot. I want to do some catch crops in between these. All right, come on. Let's let, water the. Uh, oh, sweet corn. It's a diddy one, that one. So tiny. Oh, excuse me. It's a bit loose. Look at the garlic. It gets bigger every day. That's one of the beauties of coming daily. You see the growth. Yeah, they're growing. Brilliant. The onions are, I think they've been, whoever's was munched them, probably over that rainy period, they've stopped. They're looking a bit sad. Some look happier than others, but I do need to get more water. So I'm going to put you down. Watering done. Right, weeding and then coffee and comments. Oh, I forgot my purple bag, which, which is in the boot, but uh, weeding's the only job left to do, so I'm just gonna. Well, I've got luckily I've got an old thingy, so I'm just gonna pull up this grass, uh, weed this area, weed the what will be the cucumber bed, and then coffee and comments. Hope he comes back. I hope he caught that. Oh man. He sort of knew the camera was turned on. He's up on top of my body. Up there. I don't know if you can see it. Up there. I'm going to keep quiet. I don't know how long I can stay on my knees. <laughs> I don't know.
Oh, that was so good. Where is he? I think he's definitely gone. Wow. Oh, right, it's coffee time. I'm gonna, there's a bit of weeding left. I'm going to leave that. It's time to have coffee. Right, get the chair set up. See you in a bit. Literally two seconds ago, so he hadn't really left. And he, he sat on my bag, and now he's sat on the pole. Oh, he's gone to another plot. I feel. Was, yeah, I need to. I need to have coffee, Robin. Sorry. <laughs> he's on the other plot. I can just see him on the cold frame now. Oh, that's so good. Right, coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, oh man, I'm spilling coffee over myself. <laughs> I just want to sit back. Oh, Gordon Bennett, can you see me? I don't want to have my whole face in the camera. Oh, thanks for all your comments, everybody. Really helpful. I will pot the lemon tree for definite um i'm just going to leave it where it is for the moment though because it's obviously warm but when i find a suitable pot i'll just pop it in there it will be all right where it is for the moment but you're right it needs to come in i do i'll put it in the, my little greenhouse uh in the um you know come winter I'm just looking at uh, Maureen Wilkinson. Your comments do make me laugh. <laughs> so you say, there's an idea, Kerry. When you're a cauliflower to go, make a cauliflower cheese in the cassori. I, do you know, I haven't had cauliflower cheese for ages, and I think I will definitely do that. Hopefully that they grow, but if they don't, I'm hoping they will, because I have covered them early. So I should get some cauliflower from them, if I look after them properly. And I've never grown cauliflower before, so it's a new one for me. Uh, yeah. I'd say ninjas. I have the same ninja as you, but cauliflower cheese is one of hubby's faves. Uh, uh, PD the ninja, and um, by the way, the ninja isn't big enough to feed hubby. <laughs> well, we need a big amount. Um, I do like my big portions, can you tell? <laughs> Your garden looking fab now, it's really coming on. Thank you, Maureen, thank you very much. And then you went on to say, um, you forgot to say that you remember the pasta that I wouldn't cook, and that was the uncooked pasta in my cooking channel. Just in case any of you don't know, there is a link in the description budget cooking UK and I do hope that some of this veg I end up cooking in the, that cooking channel definitely uh, I have used already because I've inherited salad on um, spring onions anyway you say that um, you had a similar thing happen thinking he was the speedy master he decided to make carbonara with uncooked pasta it was all the rage then when I tried that and it was honestly it was awful <laughs> it just it took ages you always cook your pasta before you cook it, bung them in the air fryer he did make me laugh, he really did. Um, he ended up saying you, you did a Kerry. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that really is funny. Um, more Margaret Bark, ha hope you get a good crop, Kerry, after all the hard work you're putting in. Thank you, Mar Maggie. Thank you very much. That's really lovely. Uh, Jennifer Harvey, you've, you've done a few comments. I do like your comments. You say it's tea time in Suffolk. I only just had time to sit and watch. Whereabouts in Suffolk are you from? Uh, is it Jenny or Jennifer? Because um, I'm not far from Suffolk. I do like the county of Suffolk. And not one, if not anyone doesn't know this, but Suffolk has not one motorway. It doesn't have any motorways whatsoever, which is it's quite interesting. You said a monk jack has been nesting on your allotment, having a good feast, so you've literally given up on your patch this year. Oh dear. What is a monk jack? I don't even know what a monk is. That, I've kind of got a feeling that that's a deer or is it a bird <laughs> because you say nesting so you use blue water pipes as frames for out net fast for netting and scaffolding net when you can get hold of it yeah definitely i've heard scaffolding netting is pretty good stuff um sometimes like old building sites they give them away don't they it, when at the end of their it's having the gumption to go up and ask them <laughs> Uh, but I definitely need to get some blue water pipes. That's that's coming up soon. And you say cable ties are a blessing. Definitely are. They definitely are. And thank you for saying it looks good. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice way to start morning drinking coffee outside. Definitely. That's so true, actually. That really is. I mean, when it's raining, this is why I need the shed. Because if it's raining, I can go and have, drink coffee inside the shed. <laughs> Oh, and Sandra, you said, I nearly forgot about your allotment video. Oh, no. I'm pleased it popped up. 
Oh, did it come up on recommended? Mm, that's pretty good. One thing it will keep you fit. Oh, do you know what? No, no word of a lie, I'm really unfit. And rather on the large side, let's be face it, that's a fact. Um, I like my food. <laughs> but I am, I do, I'm, I am aching. But it's good, it's good. So, you know, it needs to be done. And that's the thing, because I think we're, we live, live such sedentary, can you say that? Sedentary lives in the main that, you know, no wonder. But back in the day, you think 100 years ago, people just worked, walked for miles, didn't drive everywhere. They, you know, and they probably ate less as well because food was a bit more scarce, you know, so uh, we just have too, too much of everything. But, oh, you know, I, I'm not suggesting we go back to 100 years ago, but you know what I mean, yeah. It's um, hard to not be a glutton and sit on the sofa all the time, isn't it? And watch YouTube. <laughs> so you said, uh, I nearly forgot about your allotment video and please it popped up. One thing I'll keep, yeah, it will keep you fit. Just think of all the meals you'll be able to make with nice fresh produce. Definitely, Sandra. That's really true. And um, Julie Ballantyne, you said definitely, put, I will do this, but put the lemon tree in a pot, Kerry. It will make it easy to move as it will need protection from the cold. Very, very true, Julie. Thank you for that. And Chris Anton, you said did quite a lot in a short time looking nice now thank you Chris thank you very much I hope you've all settled in you because I know you moved recently oh and it's my rusty garden I'll have to check out I've, I'm presuming you've got a channel I haven't had a chance but I'll have a look um so I'll check that out when I get when I get home but you say new to channel and look forward to watching your updates if the fruit trees are grafted then the actual graft must be above ground yeah I'm going to deal with that I might have to um dig away at, at a more increased slope i think bless al i think it just went all gung-ho um and i wasn't watching i didn't i didn't i mean I'm, yeah it's one of those isn't it you don't, i was busy doing something else so i need i do need to sort that out sooner sooner rather than later but luckily it hasn't rained but i think i might i'll do that deal with that by the end of this week looks like you have done a lot of work and yes no matter what something or, or what something it always trying to get at our veg <laughs> but before we can that's so true especially when you don't use pesticides which i i, I don't um you've got to, i mean i'm not i don't say i'm organic but i don't use any pesticides whatsoever so i suppose that's organic but the other thing is grab it i remember one time in my old allotment strawberries were coming along and i was just thinking right i must cover these i must cover these but life gets in the way got busy went there down there and all the deer that because there's there's always a young deer that come around that do we have seen them you know especially in allotments and this is in Colchester um it it just that just ravaged the lot <laughs> it's just a lesson learnt there get them covered before you think is needed because otherwise something else is going to eat them um yeah blackberries are extremely invasive so if you can I'd get rid of it yeah you're not the first one to say that and I'm definitely going to do that have a fantastic week Kerry Ali. Oh, thanks, Ali. I hope you have a good week too. And I'll definitely check out your your, your channel. I think it's your channel. I'm, I'm only guessing, but it's my rusty garden. I'll, I'll check it out if it is a channel. So, oh, well, let me drink this coffee. And that robin wasn't that great. I hope I hope I caught it. I, I can't really tell because it, you know, it was all. It's, you're very dim on the screen it's not easy to especially if you haven't got your glasses on but i'll go home and i'll check the footage and hopefully we'll have a robin on the camera not literally on the camera like it the other time and it sat on it but on it in it <laughs> right i definitely need to come back and stream but that'll have to be an afternoon job because it's too too noisy to do it in the morning well, I could always do it from eight o'clock, I suppose, because it's half-term holidays next week. Yay! Which means I don't have to, I can perhaps stay a bit longer. Because I like to get home at eight, because I do have other things to do. <laughs> so I'm winding down my Etsy shop because I can't do all this editing and the Etsy shop, because the Etsy shop takes up a lot of time. So I'm just finishing off the last orders and then gonna sh just shut it permanently. I'm not sad about that because I am frankly, because it's draw knobs and I put decals on them. 
I am absolutely bored to tears with uh, draw knobs, and yeah, <laughs> it'd be it would be great not to have to do that anymore and spend the time editing. Is actually well, for instance, the lemon pie that was a fi almost a 50 minute uh, vlog, but obviously that's way too long, so I had to cut it right down. 20 minutes is is a bit, you know, people get bored, so you've got to it's got to be sh sh as short as you can manage. And bearing in mind, I made homemade short crust pastry, then the lemon filling, and then the whipped cream. But oh my God, the lemon pie was absolutely delicious. And that was my first time making short crust pastry. So that's on the Budget Cooking UK. Check it out. <laughs> if you, a lot of you already watch on there, so I know you've come over to this allotment channel, and thank you for that. So anyway, everyone, I'm going to go home now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, I'm just going to let you check out check out the views.